welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you would like alerts, if you'll hit the bell icon and you'll be updated on the newest videos. With that in mind, here's today's video. So I think some of you have seen my Bible journaling video and this is my single column journaling Bible from Crossway that I started years and years ago so it's been I don't know six seven years now that I've had this bible and I have a review I'll put the link in the description below but what I wanted to do today was just to go through the process of how I bible do my bible journaling especially lately sometimes you're kind of um in you have a lot of steam and sometimes you're just kind of struggling to even put a little bit of art into a book. So um, what I wanted to do was cover some of this and show you what I do. Um, this is a photograph of a stained glass window. I went and spoke at a church and shared my testimony and they had this gorgeous window. So I took a photograph of it and I want to at least maybe put some of the panels in or um, maybe draw the whole thing. I'm not sure yet. So that's been living in my Bible for oh, I don't know, maybe three years now. So sometimes these kinds of things just kind of stay in my Bible because I have the idea, but just honestly don't have the plan or the time or anything like that. So I'm going to go through the Psalms today and show you what I have. This is a book that I use my fountain pens in, and it's a very cheap, uh, terrible moleskin notebook. So I don't recommend those. And I just have some notes on the Psalms, like, you know, which ones belong to Asaph and which ones are Moses' Psalms. And these are not all the Psalms, but just the ones that kind of elicit um, images in my head. And um, so I just kind of draw them out here. And sometimes they get translated into my, and here's just a verse from Philippians and a song that I like. Okay, I'm going to flip through those. And sometimes these images make it into my Bible journaling, and sometimes they don't. Uh, it's a, kind of like my trial area. So I sit down, I write out the psalm, and then I like jot down which fountain pen I use here. This one's the Pilot Metropolitan with blue and black ink. And then on the side, I'll write the image down. So this is, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know which one, which part this is. Something to do with mountains, I'm sure. And um, so in you, in your light, we do see light. There's a strange picture of Jesus that I sketched there. I'm not so great at uh, some of the drawing of, of men, but I can do you know, animals and stuff like that. So every beast of the forest is mine. The cattle on a thousand hills, one of my favorite verses to remind me of the goodness of God and also the providence of God. And again, I just jot down like what pen I'm writing with, like Pilot Falcon and what the, what the uh, ink is. And then this one is from Psalm 53 that, uh, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. And so um, that's the image that I thought of there. And then sometimes they're just tiny little pictures like Psalm 56. This is, um, you've taken account of my miseries, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? And so just a tiny bottle there. And then this one is um, in God, I've put my trust. I shall not be afraid. And that's still from Psalm 56. So sometimes they're little, small little sketches, and sometimes they are larger. And this, again, is my testing ground for drawing um, in my Bible. So you'll see some of these make it in and some don't. This is just the Lord God is a sun and shield, which is kind of cool. Uh, Psalm 84, 11. And then... From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. That's actually paint, I think, that I used in there. And one of my favorites is Psalm 94, 91.4. And that is, um, we shall find refuge under his wings. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. So um, I've been 
drawing and meditating on the Psalms. This is Psalm 96. I would like to get that into my Bible. Those are color pencils and also fountain pen ink. Here's some tiny little sheep um, that talk about the sheep of his pastures, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Sometimes it's just whatever mood strikes me. And then sometimes I don't have anything other than just a cross here. And that says, bless the Lord on my soul. I really liked what I did here with Psalm 104. And the imagery was so rich that I went verse by verse. So uh, verse one doesn't have much, but it says covering yourself with light as a garment and stretch out, stretching out the heavens like a tent. So that's there. And then the beams of his chambers makes, his, makes the clouds his chariots and rides on the wind, wings of the wind. And then here's the fire, here's the earth, here's the waters, um, covering the ark, not covering, but raging around the ark. And then some more here that I painted. Still the same psalm, still the same psalm, um, the phases of the moon, and then the mountains and the trees, and then uh, the man going out to the threshing floor. And then I have some more here in a different color ink. And so, anyway, um, Psalm 110, uh, the Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. And I also just count, um, put kind of a cross-reference, Isaiah 6, uh, 66, 1, which is... Um, Oh, I don't know. Something to do with the earth is his footstool. So there's that. And then I lift my eyes up to the hills. My help comes from the Lord who made heavens and earth. And that's written out here. And then just a little one here um, about we've escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. And that's Psalm 124. And then 127 has arrows and a quiver. And then 128 actually has something to do with olives. And I just did an ink review called Black Olives. So that was fresh in my head. And then me, again, trying to draw. Um, this is supposed to be Aaron with his staff. And that's Psalm 133. So that's where I'm at right now in my Psalms, kind of coming to the end of the Psalms. And that's those are my, those are my idea books. It's... My ideas in one book, I should say. So again, all the Psalms in one book. And then I tried to put that art into my Bible. And so this one I actually drew, I think I, no, I didn't draw it on the video. I don't know if I did. If I did, I'll put a link. Uh, but this is Psalm 1 and that was painted. Um, I probably didn't paint. Maybe I sketched it. I don't know. And then here's... Uh, Psalm 17, 8. So I don't have some of the things in here. I think this is this is one of, actually that's the very first thing that I put in here. And that is Psalm 35, 9. And then Psalm 36, 9 is just a pencil sketch of a fountain. Then a lot of nothing. And then as I put the little bottle of tears, I have that here as well. So you put my tears in a bottle, Psalm 56, 8. And then we kind of start getting a little bit more art um, as the Psalms progress. And this is, um, the Lord is a strong tower. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. That's Psalm 61, 3. Okay, and then... So just kind of wanted to go through it just to show you that, you know, sometimes the art makes it over, sometimes it doesn't, but I just kind of test out my thoughts sometimes. And also I'm, I'm actually studying the Psalms. So sometimes the pictures kind of come in my head and sometimes they don't. So I don't always want to put them into my Bible. Now this one, I was trying to figure out where everything was and I thought, oh, I should just draw map. So that's Psalm 108 and I don't have it in the other in my notes, but I have it in here. 
There's Psalm 117. Praise the Lord. All nations extol him, all peoples. And then another one, which is kind of my favorite. Your word is a lamp to my feet. And I made little kind of clay lamps like in the old days. It's probably the time of Moses and David. They didn't really have lanterns at that time. And then... um I lift my eyes to the hills. So that one I drew in here. And that one was in my psalm book, as was the little bird with a snare. And sometimes I color them and sometimes I don't. I just leave them as a sketch. And then this one, I just went ahead and put all of these little drawings into my Bible. So there's the olives and there's Psalm 127.4. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. And let's see, what else do I have? I think I went through the Psalms before, so some of this might be a little redundant. Um, I think it was in my Bible journaling book, but this is one of my favorites. And that is Psalm 139 is my favorite. So, of course, I gave it more attention because I love to sew and crochet and knit. So you hem me in behind and before and lay your hand on me and that's a cross made with needles needle and thread and then this is you knitted me together in my mother's womb and so there's that and i painted that and then wrinkled up the pages um several of them but whatever it's my book and i don't care and then here's um another psalm uh psalm 149 and Psalm 150, so that is um, praise him, sun, moon, and praise him, all you shining stars. So those are the Psalms that I've done so far, and nothing on Proverbs yet, but I'll be putting some of this art into here, and really just wanted to put this out because some of you have asked about Bible journaling and how to, and I just think that it's important to talk about process that people have because no artist does it the same way. So everybody kind of does their own thing. And I think that's kind of the coolest part of art. And so don't be afraid. Um, if you are not sure about ideas, grab a notebook, even a, a cheapy, not so great one, and just try out stuff in here first, because I think it's really satisfying. And then you end up with a book that has beautiful art in it. And then you can also just test and see what you like and what you don't like before you commit yourself to the Bible. So hopefully, um, that was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, why don't you put them down in the comments? I just love hearing from everyone because everybody does this differently. And if you have Facebook, you can join me there and upload your pictures and share what you do because I think it's important to have a community. And so hope you enjoyed the walk through Psalms and also my artistic process. Until next time, bye.